on a new Corolla. But right now, we've got 10 new contestants ready to go. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. They are Pearl Thorpe, Carborough, North Carolina, Alan Kahn, Tustin, California, Bob DeGusto, Roseville, Minnesota, Becky Bowers, Wilmington, Delaware, Jim Newsom, Norfolk, Virginia, Doug Gensby, Malcolm, Nebraska, Linda Burton, Yuba City, California, Bob Watts, Columbia, Missouri, Jason Milner, Highland Park, Illinois, and David DeRose, Naples, Florida. All right, contestants, here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Thank you. Here comes the question. Put these men in the order they first won MTV's Best Male Video Award, starting with the earliest. Lenny Kravitz, Will Smith, David Bowie, Elvis Costello. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. It was David Bowie, and then Elvis Costello, Lenny Kravitz, and finally Will Smith. That's the right order. Let's see who got it in the right. The only one, Bob DeGusto. Hey, Bob, congratulations. Let's do it. So we'd like you to meet Bob DeGusto, who comes to us from Roseville, Minnesota, just outside of St. Paul. Been a postal clerk for how many years now? 18 years. 18 years. Wife, uh, Casey, back there. Hi, Casey. How you doing? Hi, fine. She's a library specialist. Yes. Nice to have the both of you here. You know about the rules, right, Bob? Yes. You know about the lifelines, 50-50. You can ask the audience. You can phone a friend. It's all here. So if you're ready, Bob, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, for one hundred dollars, here it is. According to the popular song, which of the following foods do we all scream for? Ice cream, baked beans, whipped cream, cheese whiz. It's a ice cream. A ice cream. Final answer. Yes, final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. Ice cream. We all scream for it. Two hundred dollars. What is the name for the type of painting that depicts an unclothed human figure? A naked, a nude, a birthday suit, a naughty? That would be a nude. You're right, it's a nude, $200. For $300, what is the name for the tiny pieces of colored paper that are thrown during celebrations, like when you win a million around here? Yeah. Is it too foodie? Confetti, spaghetti, Maserati. That would be confetti. Yes, you're right, confetti, the 300. $500. In MGM's classic Tom and Jerry cartoons, what type of animal is Jerry? Cat, bird, mouse, coyote. Tom is the cat, so Jerry would be the mouse. You're right, Jerry is the mouse. We're up to $1,000 now. What game show was hosted by TV veteran Monty Hall for over 13 years? Tic-tac-toe, the Joker's wild, the price is right, let's make a deal. Uh, that would be let's make a deal. Yes, that's what Monty hosted, let's make a deal. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We've got all those lifelines going for 2000. We'll be right back. Bob DeGusto in our hot seat right now from Roseville, Minnesota, just outside of St. Paul. He is a uh, postal worker, and his wife, uh, Casey, is a li library specialist. What exactly does that mean? Um, it means that I don't have a library science degree, but I do reference work. And how did you two meet? We met in the first grade. No kidding. Yeah. 
<laughs> One of those long-time romances. You mean you've been dating since the first grade? Bob? Well, we dated in high school, but... Uh, you met in the first grade. We met in the first grade, and I had a crush on her then, but she doesn't remember me very well. Uh-huh. So then you started dating again in high school? Yeah. And then marriage? Yeah, and married here you after. Are. Yep. And you know, Bob, I've never seen anybody who has a cruise dossier like you. You've been <laughs> on practically every cruise. You've been ever, all over the world. You've been to um, Australia, Ireland, England, Scotland, Morocco, Spain, Portugal, Canada, Caribbean, New Zealand, chocolate cruise. <laughs> all right. Now, Bob, you're doing just terrific here. You've got a lot of cruises ahead of you with the money you we're talking about here. You're going for $2,000. You're 10 questions away from a million, and you've got all your lifelines intact. Let's play. Here we go. For $2,000, in the 1983 movie Flashdance, what was the day job of the main character, Alex? Welder, construction worker, plumber, electrician. Uh, well, I thought of the answer before it turned up. I hate to leave with lifelines. You, you say you thought of the answer before it turned up? Yeah. And then it wasn't among the... No, it's there. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go to the audience. Are I'm you really? Gonna... Yeah. Audience, we need your help here for Bob. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, 76% say welder. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I'll, I'll say welder. Gonna go with the audience? Yep. Final answer? Yes. Welder's the right answer. <laughs> okay, we're nine away from a million, Bob. Here it is for $4,000. What is the text of an opera called? Adagio? Libretto? Aria, intermezzo. That would be libretto. Libretto, final answer? Yes. Libretto's the right answer for $4,000. <laughs> Take a look at this now for $8,000. What concoction made British pharmacists John W. Lee and William Perrins famous? Horseradish sauce? A1 steak sauce, Worcestershire sauce, tartar sauce. I'm pretty sure it's Worcestershire sauce, so I'm going to go with that. Final? Yes. Final answer, Worcestershire sauce. It's the right answer for $8,000. Bob, we're doing terrific here. I'm going for $16,000 right now. Here it is. If you wanted to visit Tierra del Fuego, to which continent would you travel? South America, Europe, Africa, Australia. I, I'm positive of this one. It's South America. Final? Final answer. Pays to cruise around the world, doesn't it? He's right for $16,000. Six away from one million, should you miss right now, you'll be reduced by 15,000. But here it is for the all-important $32,000 level. Which lyricist collaborated with Elton John on the Lion King soundtrack? Tim Rice, Stephen Sondheim, Howard Ashman, Stephen Schwartz. Stephen Sondheim. <clears throat> I know he's collaborated with Tim Rice. I'll do a 50-50. 50-50? Computer, would you take away two of the wrong answers for Bob, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one? Tim Rice, Howard Ashman. Uh, I'll say Tim Rice. Final? Final answer. Tim Rice is the right answer for $32,000. I 
at this point, we're five away from $1 million. We're going for $64,000, and you've got the photo friend still with you. Here it is, then, for $64,000. What famous painting's proper title begins arrangement in gray and black, number one? Whistler's Mother. Guernica. The Night Watch. The Gross Clinic. This one is Whistler's Mother. Confident? I'm confident. Final answer? Final answer. Whistler's Mother it is for 64000 When we come back, Bob goes for $125,000. Work for games. Bob DeGusto with us right now from Roseville, Minnesota. Now, you've done a lot of traveling. Uh -huh. Any funny story, anything unusual happen? On well, once trips? Uh, when we were in Bermuda, my wife and our friends were swimming in the ocean and they were waving wildly at me, and uh, I was on the, on the shore and uh, so I thought it would make a good picture, so I started taking pictures of them. They were really caught in a riptide and were drowning. <laughs> and uh, the lifeguard did go out and did rescue yeah. them. Though, so when did you realize they were in trouble? When the lifeguard when said, the life Land Hoy or something? When I saw the lifeguard, yeah. Did you get a good picture? Yeah, oh, good. good pictures. That's the important thing. All right, Bob, one lifeline left. You can call somebody in America. You're going for $125,000. We're four away from a million right here, so let's play. For $125,000, here it is. In 1999, Lauren Hill broke what singer's record for the most Grammys won by a woman in a single night? Madonna, Aretha Franklin, Carol King, Patsy Cline. Lauren Hill got the album of the year that year. Uh, I will phone a friend. Got somebody? Craig Nelson. My, one of my, what does Craig do? He's one of my supervisors at work. Oh, all right, fine. This must be a swinging post office. <laughs> all right, our friends at AT&T will find Craig. Bring him to us. Hello, Craig. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from New York City. Hello, Regis. I've got one of your guys here. You do? Yeah, Bob DeGusto. Okay, I know Bob. Sure you do, and he needs your help. Uh-oh. Can't see him right now, but he's going for $125,000. Oh, boy, okay. So in a minute, he's going to come on, give you the question, the four possible answers. One of them is the right answer, okay? Sure. All right, good luck, and uh, Bob, it's all yours. You've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. Okay. In 1999, Lauren Hill broke what singer's record for the most Grammys won by a woman in a single night? Madonna, Aretha Franklin, Carole King, Patsy Cline. Oh, boy. Boy, that's a tough one, Bob. Uh, what was the first one again? It was Madonna? Madonna. Aretha Franklin, Carol King, Patsy Cline. Three seconds. I want to see Madonna, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say, I want to say Madonna? But he's not sure. But he's not sure. Well, 64,000 is a great amount. My mother told me when I left that that's, she had a dream that I was going to win 64,000. So that, it's meant to be. So I'm stopping here. You're going to stop right here? Yep. Meanwhile, Craig uh, said Madonna. Uh, is this your final decision to stop right here? That's my final decision. Shall we just see if uh, Bob would have been right? He said Madonna. The answer, of course, was Carol King. Ah, good. Did the right thing. $64,000. <laughs> nice having you here. Say hello to everybody in the post office. Thank you. Okay, Bob. Thank you. Well, a big hello to everybody at that post office out there. Terrific guy. Anyway, we...